I'm so glad you're home. I know we have to talk about a lot of things, and we will. I promise. Right after I... Eric. I waited for you because it wouldn't be right to leave without saying goodbye. Leave? I'm moving out. Is Mommy Heist coming soon? Yeah, in a, a little while. She's um, flying in from Paris, staying for a week. And then the, the girls and I are going back with her for spring break, if all goes well. I hope it does. I don't really want to hear the legal argument against my daughters saying goodbye to their other mother. Oh, I'm not against it. If you can work it out on your own, then that is the best possible solution. Uh, but, but you don't think that will happen? I think we need to be prepared. I don't think that Reese's attorney is negotiating in good faith. Okay, and I don't want all of Reese's time here to be up by a bunch of lawyers and negotiations. Okay, my, my girls, they need to spend time with their mother. And I need to talk to my wife. I understand, but when I let my guard down with JR, I almost lost my son. I already told you that Reese is nothing like JR. I, I don't want to discuss this anymore. Okay, if you were, I said listen. stop. All you're doing is trying to turn your horror story divorce into mine, and, and I'm done with it. Oh, Mom, what are, you, what are you doing here? Isn't this the one you divorced? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, well, yeah. But, uh, you know, Ms. Castillo, it's a pleasure to meet you because... Uh, Hi. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, you look tired, Mija. Oh, no. So thin. I'm great. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Of course I would come when my daughter tells me she's getting married. So suddenly and with no warning. Yes. Which it... is better than the last time when I didn't hear until after. This did happen kind of fast. Um, but the truth is, Ted and I are very much in love. And yet here you are in the arms of your former husband the day before the wedding. Um, no, it's not like that. It looks like that, Mrs. Castillo. But I, I was just congratulating Kara, actually, on the, on, on, on the good news. I recognize you. Yeah? From your wedding picture with my Kara. Can, can we get you anything? I want to speak to my daughter. Alone. So let's 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 take a walk. Yep. Take a... Look, I don't know if Zach was trying to tell you something through that letter, but I know he wouldn't want you to risk your health figuring it out. You just don't get it. No, I don't. Have you ever been in love? It's a simple yes or no question here. My love life. And your situation have nothing to do with one another. Okay, I'll take that as a no, then. You haven't ever been in love. Which is why you're having such a hard time understanding what I'm going through right now. So you just disqualify me from having any opinion. Until you love someone with your whole heart and soul. When you feel so close and so connected that you're almost the same person, you will never know how it feels. You're angry because Caleb kissed me on New Year's Eve. Forget about the kiss. It's not about the kiss. It's about us. It's about you and me. It's about this wedding we're planning that I'm not even sure should happen. After all we've been through together.
After promising that this time would be forever? I, I didn't think that leaving was an option for either one of us. I'm only leaving the apartment. Believe me, I'm not walking away from us. I don't understand what you mean by that. We've been living under this roof. But we haven't been together for months. Eric, do you believe that you have made room in your life for a partner? But you haven't. Of course I have. You're my partner. You're my life's partner. Not in a way I can live with. I'm going to pack some things. Can I just ask you something? Why is Reese suddenly showing up now? Because there are there are things that need to be discussed in person. I'm sorry, I didn't want to make this harder. I'm just asking you to consider the idea that Reese might have another agenda other than family time in Paris. Okay, and I appreciate your concern. I really do hope I'm wrong. Okay, you're the expert. Tell me what I'm missing. You still wouldn't understand. I'm a quick study. Humor me. Okay. What Zach and I had. You know that cliche about people finishing each other's sentences? You're one of those? It was more than that. I would be thinking about him and the phone would ring and it would be Zach thinking about me. Or he'd, he'd plan a trip somewhere and I'd surprise him with tickets to the exact same place. He, he, he could get inside my crazy all over the place thoughts and I could get inside his dark complex ones. We saved each other's lives, but not in the way that you do. We did it by by letting the other person in. Totally in. We knew each other so deeply and so intimately. So if there's something telling me that that that, that there's something that, that I, I need to find out. Butter. Yes. There, there, every instinct in me is screaming that I that, that there's a message in it for me and, and I have to find out what it is. And I will. I owe him that. I owe our love. I'm getting a refill. You want anything? I think it would be better if you have a clear head. My head is very clear. Mm -hmm. What is your mission? I can't hound Kendall about this special place 24-7, Diana. And now we have that hot pit bull doctor for us to deal with, too. No, we don't, because if he becomes more of a problem, we'll just take him out. Meanwhile, Kendall and I... Kendall and you what? You know, most of the time I'm doing these jobs, I'm dealing with degenerates, gamblers and addicts, and people who deserve what they get. Since when did you start worrying about who deserves what? And did Kendall's husband deserve it when he blew up his plane and caused it to splash in the ocean? I'm doing the job, all right? And I will get whatever evidence Zach had against us. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not my pretty little head that I'm worried about. Okay, I'm going to make you a deal. Wait a minute. Wait. Did I actually get through to you on a personal level? Me? A patient? Here's the deal. I'm gonna get you off the pain sleep meds for a week. One week. But if you feel run down, if you're getting any symptoms of distress... Yes, I will call my doctor. And one more thing. What's that? If Zach was really trying to deliver some kind of message through this letter, if his accident wasn't an accident, then I hope you find out. Actually, I was thinking, Kara's mom is a uh, sweet, sweet lady. Yeah, a peach. I wonder how you say steel magnolia in Spanish. It's tough, tough cookie. Mm. It didn't help we walked in on YouTube playing Huggy Bear. 
What was that about? Were you really congratulating Kara? Was it something else? No, it's Agent Trumbull. He, he, he cornered us talking about, you know, how did I fall in love with her? When did we fall out of love? And I think it was just rough. I think, I think it shook her up. And you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm not the one that hasn't let it go. Yeah. Are we in luck? This Asian Trumbull doesn't seem like he's the kind of guy who's just going to let things go. And let's not forget, we still got to deal with that whole immigration fraud hearing well, thing. Well, we just can't slip up, right? We can't do that. But we are going to have to deal with Kara's mom. No, she'll do that. Who's going to do that? Kara. Kara. When I said steel magnolias, I wasn't just talking about mommy. A man and his ex-wife living in the same house. Yeah. <laughs> They're good friends. Like you and Jake. Yeah, exactly. Um, did you know that Jake's remarried? Amanda. Beautiful. And they have a lovely child as well. Trevor. I don't see happiness. I don't see happiness here, my beautiful child. I see heartbreak. No. I didn't come here to come to your wedding, Kara. I'm here to take you home.